Hello! Congrats! At nang dahil napapanood mo ito ngayon, ikaw ay buhay. At nakukurious sa isa na naman labas ng BMW Motorrad sa ating makulay at masigasig na mundo ng motor. Welcome! Makina Moto Features po. Ito ang BMW C400 GT. Sinabi mong BMW Motorrad, para mo na rin sinabing adventure. Sila na ang primo at siga sa eksena na yan. Ilang taon na in terms of sales, di ba? In fact, sila actually ang nagsimula at nag-imbento ng term na adventure touring noong na-release nila yung BMW R80 noong dekada 80. And syempre, since sila nagpakanan yan, naging challenge din para sa kanila na mapasa ang buong vibes ibang mga motor at offerings nila. Yung maxi scoot na eksena ay saktong pwede nilang pasukan kung saan ang naghahanap ang mga rider ng isang komportambling reliable na automatic na hindi naman dating magka-camping or babiyahe katawid desierto o puputang planet Mars, di ba? BMW C400 Series, pasok! Bale, pinasukan ng BMW yung Maxi Scoot Market mga 10 years ago. Nagkaroon sila ng 600cc and 650cc twins. At yung kaha noon ay very well regarded. Solid chassis noon. Nowadays, meron tayong C400X, pang urban commuter. Tapos yung sinasakyan natin ngayon, yung C400 GT. Ang mga essentials, 349cc ang makina. Liquid cooled po ito, may 4 valves at... Uh, Malaki yung mga valves, ha? Medyo malaki. 32.5 mm. According to BMW, yung C400 GT ay may 34 HP sa 7,500 RPM. At yung torque naman niya ay nasa 25.8 pound-feet at 5,570 RPM. First, nakikipagsabayan sa panahon ang BMW. Lagi naman eh. Dito sa C400 GT, upgraded yung electrically actuated, electronically managed throttle control. Bago yung management system nila. Wala na yung idle speed regulator sa airbox at pumalit doon na isang throttle valve bypass at isang turbulent system. At mas stable na ang idle niya ngayon. Mas maganda na rin yung wideband oxygen sensor para mas mainam pang exhaust system at para din bumagay sa bagong coating ng catalytic converter nito. Alam ko, medyo dugo ilo na tayo at this point sa mga sinasabi ko pero basically ang ibig sabihin lang ng lahat ng improvements na sinabi ko mas malinis na ang emissions natin ngayon it's a greener machine mas friendly sa environment Doon, modified din ang cylinder head at yung CVT transmission centrifugal clutch. Madaming happening dito sa scoot na ito and minsan sa development ng modern day big bikes napapraning ako kasi parang darating bang araw na hindi na natin mag ng sobrang high tech na motor di ba? Grabe ang development eh ang bilis tapos ang BMW laging cutting edge alala nyo yung self-balancing bike nila? Pero so far naman nauunawaan ko kung anong mga innovations nila gaya yung automated stability control nila kala mo sagad na eh no? pero pati ito na-improve pa rin nila automatic na kunwari magpapalit ka lang ng gulong magre-recalibrate na siya na mag-isa automatic na. Kasi dati, if you needed to modify or change something sa bike, kailangan mo i-manually calibrate yung stability control nila. Siguro, nahasil yung mga rider noon and nakinig ang BMW and here we are. Iniba na nila. They improved on it. 
And yung huling upgrade nila ay yung braking system ng C400 GT. Bago ang calipers in adjusted yung lever feel. Yung front brakes ngayon meron ng twin 265mm rotors with 4 piston calipers. Tapos yung likod naman ay single piston caliper na umiipit sa isang 276mm rotor. Ah, beautiful. That is such a stunner. BMW and their C400 GT. First off, it's gotta be the color. I don't know if the camera can give justice to what I'm seeing in the flesh, but this, this kind of gray, a lot of um, cars have been getting into this color. Of course, BMW. I've seen this in Audis. I've seen this in a lot of Japanese cars in the, in the US, like the new Sentra lineup. They have this Masilia gray and it's just absolutely beautiful. Detail lines, that's the tail light, nice and clean. In fact, I can't see any tinge of red whatsoever. It's just frosty white when it's off. Of course, when you turn things on, and that is now your rear. Pardon the blinking, it's because of my shutter speed and the camera, that's what it is. The lights out in front, check it out. Very, very nice, huh? That's bright. So if you're passing, that's gonna flare up like so. And for our signal lights, that's what you get. And on the rear, that's what you get there. So what does it sound like? In terms of compartment space, so this is what I noticed, off, off, press as I might, it will not open, it will not open, I gotta turn it on, voila, and it opens, this too. Of course I'm gonna show you how deep that is via the Chanelis check. Size 11 folks, that's, that's all the space you get. My Galaxy Note 20 Ultra will not fit there. A little power bank perhaps, some paper, a little sandwich, that much. Will it fit a phone? This is a Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Oh, it fits. It fits fine. Side, so you won't close. But this one here, so this side is deeper, it will close. You know, this is what's awesome with BMW. Very premium key, it's a proper key, look at that. Press this button, the key will snap out. Well, you don't really need that, because it's keyless. Now for the seat, there is a button over here. It's gotta be on. Okay, push, and here's our seat. Wow, look at that. High end. So it's got the pilot light, I appreciate that. So one of the things that I would immediately request or think that would be better, is if this seat can go all the way to the side. So when my elbow tries to reach in for stuff over there, it's not hitting that, you know? I don't know, maybe that can be sorted out with a longer suspension arm here. So you got a pilot light, that's cool. This thing goes down so it can fit a full face helmet. So you, you press that, unlock it, and then it goes down. And once it goes down, we can now put a full face helmet. Like so. Now the thing here is that space, that compartment is designed to be used or you can put a full face helmet when you're parked. So it's not like if you wanna go out there, bring an extra helmet while you're riding. I mean, who does that? <laughs> but the thing is basically you can store your full face helmet if you're not gonna ride or if you're gonna park. Cause if that thing is down, it'll take up space over here and the scoot won't start. Let's take out the helmet. Grab it over here, pull it up. My only worry here if I were to be concerned about this, is this. I hope this this material will last a long, long time. I have no experience with this material yet, but uh, I don't know, it is BMW. I'm sure they know what they're doing. If you like chopping legs, man. Now this is the first time that I have something of this length from my heel all the way to almost my seeing it. Look at that space. Now in terms of absolute relaxed leg room, check it out, those are my legs. If I choose to put my foot over there, if I put it over here, 
I don't feel like I'm in the toilet seat position, which is prevalent in some other maxi scoots. Like my knees are gonna be like too high. More or less, this is this feels like it's parallel to the ground and a lot of space. So much space. Now, in terms of a uh, cockpit, this side is very very BMW, and I would say it is consistent with the switches on the more expensive Beamers especially this and I can just jump into an R90 which costs more if we compare the switches they're pretty much right up there as well fit and finish beamer quality no problem there nothing here screams of regularity everything is up to par in terms of primeness and if you're talking high quality buy this and you get Pirelli's right away suspension dual shocks so gas tank is in this area, lower center of gravity, and, and that's great, better for handling. Now, if there's something I wish I would improve on, although the, the windshield is doing a good job deflecting the wind, to be able to adjust this on the fly, I think would be a plus for this scoot. I think maybe they can do that in future models. Like a little lever here, like with what they have with the GS. Shook, shook, shook. Now, let's take a look at the gauge this time. It's not intimidating to use, it's very easy. What BMW did with this one, this is basically a dial to go through the menu. If you want to scroll left, go there. If you want to scroll right, push that to the right. You got your oil, you got your temperature, you got your odometer, you got the number of kilometers left before you need to gas up again. If you want to get into more detail, this is the fun part. You got your time for your, your journey. This is your break time, how long you took a break. <laughs> and then you got your navigation. If you want to hook it up with your phone, but I need the app, which I did download the app. Media, again, you can hook it up. You got Bluetooth there and you got your hands free for your phone. So many things to look at. And I'm glad that BMW has this for this model as well not just in the in the bigger and more expensive models right it's very easy to understand and it's very easy to operate tft display is very very good quality again i pardon my camera this it's not capturing the the beauty of the tft display of this c400 gt but it's really really nice again for comparison that's a tft display it's my chinellus it's pretty big Ika nga nila kung di naman sira at okay naman yung performance, eh huwag na natin pakialaman. Dito sa series na ito, not much na pwede pang improve yung chassis. Solid talaga. It's one of the strong points ng motor na ito. Wheelbase niya 61.6 so mainim ang stability habang komportable ang dalawang taong kayang isakay nito. Suspension naman ay dalawang 35mm teleforks with 26.4 degrees of steering rake and 3.2 inches of trail with an aluminum swing arm. Blah, 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 blah. Nosebleed moment na naman po tayo ngayon. Ang ibig sabihin lang niyan lahat, base din sa observation natin, ayos ang suspension, stable ang ride, at BM na BM talaga ang dating niya. Tulad ng mga mas mahal niyang mga kapatid. So cool, So, ano ang pakiramdam sa kyanto? So, imagine mo isang cruise ship, di ba? Magarang cruise ship na maliit. Or, kung ganon, imagine mo na lang isang yate, di ba, na magara, na lumalarga sa kalmadong dagat. Meron kang connect sa matamis na halik ng hangin habang dala mo ang sosi na pakiramdam ng dala ng BMW na brand. Now, oo, alam kong iba sa inyo, bali walang badge, di ba? Pure performance ang hinahanap. Pero, alam nyo, ang realidad sa buhay, eh... Ang badge kasama talaga sa pagbili ng bagay eh, di ba? Ang value nakadikit dyan at may epekto pa rin yan sa tao. San galing ba tong pagbansag ng value, di ba? E di sa tao din, ganun talaga. Etong saucy feeling na tinutukoy ko ay unique sa BMW. Hindi siya pa saucy na walang saisay, di ba? Saucy siya na high-end performance na straight to the point. German engineering talaga. Bilang tourer, walang problema ang mag 130 kph cruising speed. Kayang-kaya niyan. Kung makahanap ka din ng mga daan na pwede mo tong gawin legally. So, kung mga spurts na kailangan mag-overtake, kayang-kaya talaga. 
Yung upuan, basta BMW, mataas talaga expectations ko. Dati, nung nag tayo sa South Africa, gamit ko doon GS1200. 3,000 kilometers kami in 10 days. Hanip talaga yung upuan ng BMW. Walang nangyari sa saddle sa akin. Di sumakit yung puwet ko. And after all of the time, para akong di nag-ride. I mean, puwet-wise. So, dito sa C400 GT, masaya yung puwet ko. Kung may bibig lang ang puwet ko, nakangiti ito ngayon. Pero, teka, technically, parang may bibig nga ang ko. May butas eh, di ba? Di lang nakangiti. Para lang siyang nagsasabi ng, Oh! <laughs> right, brake on the beamer. Right, brake on the beamer. Try the left lever first. Dairy take on their ABS. The slow pumping release. Ooh, ooh, ooh. With all the bikes that I've tested, there's just so many ways that ABS can work. For some, it's like a fast pumping, ba 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 ba. Some, it's more staggered and sporadic, ba 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 ba. And then for others, like for this one, it's a slow, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, you can feel it in your hand. It's a slow pump, and then as you slow down even more, then it's gonna quicken its pace, the ABS pumping. Okay, let's try the front this time. Not bad, not bad. Here's another corner. So the front ABS is still, you know, sure. Beamer sure. Very nice. Now I'm really slamming on the brakes there and in no time did I feel that I was gonna lose the front end and fall. I mean just right at the moment when you think it's gonna slip and you're gonna lose it, releases it. So this one, ABS pumping is more... Yeah, quite different from the left. Let's use both now. Very good braking. Okay. Go faster now. 60 kilometers, 65 brakes, it pumps. Go uh, 60 kilometers an hour, six actually. Yep, sure footed. And like most bikes, the rear and front, they're just meant to work together. Very nice braking. On a nice, lazy Sunday afternoon in the village. Ang BMW in 2022 ay may seryosong alok. Both para sa mga diehard fans ng BMW Motorrad at para don sa mga naghahanap ng first BMW nila. May 10 bits ba sa C400 GT? Gaya ng lagi kong sinasabi, walang perfectong motor. And yes, may bitin dito, pero di kasalanan ng motor. Ito yung 400cc rule natin sa highways. Bitin siya by 50cc. Yan rule na yan, napaka-outdated na talaga and walang scientific basis at all. Sa dami kong biyahe at ride sa iba't ibang parte ng mundo, gamit ang kung ano-ano mga motor, masasabi ko confidently na kayang-kaya yan ibaba down to 250cc. Alam nyo, dapat magka-dialogue na tayo sa gobyerno eh, ba? Ang motorcycle community, napakalakas ng voting voice natin. We can affect change. Sobrang okay talaga pag ibaba nila yan. Masi-stimulate yung economy, dadami bibili ng motor because of convenience, at dadami ang makakadiscover ng saya at ligaya ng pagmumotor. And one day, wala nang magkokotse. <laughs> 250cc, pwede na yan. Sa halagang 595,000 pesos, yung 400 GT ay may solid engineering behind it. Nasakto lang na hindi may alienate yung rider sa daan. Magkakaroon pa rin ng koneksyon. At, ang pinaka-importante sa lahat, yung blue and white badge na nakasalpak dyan, it still represents the good old good old BMW Motorrad Mojo. Eto po si Zach. Makina Motor Features po. Salamat sa pagnood. Ciao!